What is up guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler and back to the Road to the Pro series. Now I did touch on in my last video that step one was creating a brand and that goes along with starting a YouTube, your other social medias and putting out content so that you can start really pushing yourself and getting yourself out there so other people are seeing you, recognizing you and seeing exactly what you can do and along the way you will pick up followers, supporters that will push you to the next limits. And not only that, but stand behind you when you are trying to direct your career into a different avenue or create a new revenue stream. So today I am going to show you guys how to create a brand, how we were able to get our YouTube channel to where it is today at two, almost 2000 subscribers. We are right on the verge of being monetized with that. And we've only been doing this for approximately nine months. You know, it's, it's kind of unheard of. We surpassed pretty much every milestone that we set out to do, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we did that. If you guys have aspirations of becoming a professional angler, this is really a step that you can't skip anymore. You know, and it's to create those different revenue streams as well as to help drive sales for all sponsors. So if you're not willing to put in the work and the research into this first step, I can say that your chances of becoming a professional angler are probably zilch. Now, granted, I am not a professional angler yet. However, this is one of the key steps to making that transition into professional angling. And without it, there's really no way to create the revenue streams that I would need because I do not have a lot of money laying around to just pay my own entry fees. This creates those revenue streams to pay my entry fees, to pay my way up into the pros. And if you're like me, like I said, this is a step you just cannot afford to skip. And it is, I'll tell you what, it is gonna be long, frustrating, but in the end, it's gonna be completely worth it. But I will show you what we did to gain so many subscribers and what kind of content kind of launched ours. But I'm gonna show you how to set up your YouTube so that it's searchable, so you can start posting content, what kind of content you know you may want to post. Um, I can show you what our channel does. However, like your channel is going to be different, more angled towards what you want to do versus what I'm trying to portray. So, I mean, there are going to be some differences. However, there are going to be a lot of similarities that you can take home to make sure that your channel is searchable and that you can start building an audience today. Like I said, this is a step you cannot skip and it is gonna be a long road that you are gonna to have to maintain throughout your career. So once again, it's a lot of work. If you're not ready to put in that work, then I hate to say it, this probably isn't gonna be the life for you. But if you are, let's get in it and let me show you everything you need to do to start your outdoor fishing channel, to start building your brand today. All right, so if you're following along in our Abu Garcia Revo X Spin Reel giveaway, we're gonna be giving this away March 15th all you have to do is subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment of the code word today's code word is going to be brand creating your brand is a vital first step you know you got to kind of think about it what you want to be known for like with our brand we're more of a venture vlog kind of brand we do some fishing challenges but the main focus of our brand is to show that you don't have to have a lot of money to enjoy fishing you know, like uh, we have a very humble bass boat. You know, we do do some tournament fishing uh, on the smaller side and we are, you know, stepping that up because as you guys know that my aspirations are to go pro in the next few years. So we are stepping those categories up a bit, but still in a budget friendly way. You know, we're not going out buying a $120,000 bass boat, you know, decking it out. We're kind of trying to see how, what is the bare minimum that you can be competitive at. The first step and what's really kind of been a catalyst was creating our YouTube. And you know, the best advice I can give you is just start. You know, there's tons of reasons or excuses that you can give yourself not to do anything. I wanna make sure my content's perfect. You know, I wanna have, you know, all this camera equipment, the, you know, I wanna have a boat so, you know, people will take me seriously. All that doesn't matter. If you guys go back to my original video, the seven mistakes that I made creating a YouTube, a lot of that I already covered. So after this video, go check that video out and uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. Like I fell into a lot of those traps. The best advice I can give you is start today and to be yourself because ultimately that is what's going to pave the way to your success. And if you try putting on a mask or anything like that, you're not gonna be able to maintain it. 
and honestly you're going to end up hating your own creation and trust me that's where i was i had to let go and just be completely transparent before i really started enjoying making these videos and enjoying my journey so like i said we're going to create a youtube um uh, that that is first and foremost number one we're also going to create an instagram uh, a facebook account you need to really like do your research on what you want to call it um, a lot of people just call it by their name. My name is Stevie Brave. I thought about doing Stevie Brave Fishing. However, you know, like I kind of like the play on the words, the Brave Angler, and thus the Brave Angler was created. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to kind of give you some tips along the way of what you should do just so you can start writing off all the expenses because this does get expensive. I know that's against my brand, but you know, you got to think of, you know, GoPro equipment, tackle, what have you everything that you're going to do for your channel it does add up over the year so i'm going to show you how you can kind of get some money write-offs with that you know on the back end all right so all right guys so we're going to start off with creating a google account uh because you uh, you will need a email to start it just works better if you have google all right so uh and we're going to call uh come down here to create an account um, and we're gonna do uh, use for personal use, just just cause. All right, first name we're gonna put, you know, so we'll do Joe Schmo or John Doe. There we go. Next, all right, basic information you'll put in your birth date, um, what have you. I'm just gonna put in a random birth date. <laughs> Thirty-two. Forgot how many days are in a month. Uh, no, we'll say that. Okay. Gender, this isn't gonna really matter, but you know, whatever your preference is. All right, uh, to create something, we're just gonna put, you know, something in there, give it a password, make sure it's a good password so no one can hack your account. All right, out of recovery, we'll use uh, the Brave Angler Co., which is uh, our actual one. You can skip that snap. And John Doe, here you go, you can review your account. Next. All right, and then uh, you agree to the privacy concerns and all that kind of stuff, terms of use. All right, so now, now we have an account, great. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to YouTube and we are going to create a channel. So we're gonna come over here to where it says Joe Smo. All right, create a channel. Now, what's the name of our channel? Well, we'll call it, uh, you know what, we'll do Stevie, Stevie Braves Fishing. All right, create channel. I mean, you could take this time to upload a photo, which we'll get into here in a second, but uh, it's much better to kind of come here and figure out what you want to do before you start adding photos and stuff like that. Um, me personally, like I said, this was eventually generated to kind of document my journey into becoming a professional bass fisherman and it's taken like we tried some other of the standard stuff that other people do it just wasn't working for us this is what we found works best for us right but there's a couple things you need to do it's not just as simple as uploading some videos and all that kind of stuff it's i like there's some things that you need to set up so that you're searchable all right so we're going to come here to customize channel now while you're here like i said there's some things that you're not going to have ready yet for example, the channel trailer, um, I created one for mine, but you know, we have since just used whatever content we feel is doing the best at the time to get us subscribers we're putting in that spot. And so that when new people come here, they see that video. And like I said, it's just an updated video that, you know, we feel will get us subscribers if people watch it and it puts our best foot forward. That's what we actually use a trailer. But if you want to do an intro to your video, uh, to your channel, you can absolutely do that as well. That's going to be completely up to you. All right, so feature videos for subscribers. Now, uh, so it will allow you to catalog. Like I said, at this time, you don't have any content, so this is gonna be a little later down the road for you. But it, after we're done with all setting up a channel, I'll take you guys over to my channel and show you how we have all that set up. All right, so recommendations for viewers, you know, make sure this is uh, turned on. We're gonna come over here to branding. Here is where you're gonna create all your different uh, branding. Typically we use canva.com, which I will show you guys right now. And Canva is really great. It does cost money. Some of the stuff is gonna be uh, a membership, 
Um, Canva is one, but when it comes to creating your different thumbnails and stuff, it's an absolute must. It makes it really easy. This is where we actually create all of our different thumbnails. So you can see all our different thumbnails, our logos for some of our different series are on here. Um, we've made clips in here that we insert in later. Um, some other stuff that you know we uh, use, but you get a license to use all of their graphics and videos and stuff like that in your videos by having a membership, which is why we do it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a banner, which they do have a template for it. And this is the banner that we created for ours. Our logo's in the center, and then our slogan is kinda in the background, um, but when you put it out on the banner, it will show you, but we'll actually use this for uh, to show you kinda why it's set up like this and there's so much negative space. It is gonna take some time to kinda play with it, but when we come back over here, we'll go to upload. There we go, there it is. So the reason why, like I said, you're, you're gonna have to play for it with it a little while. So if you see what will be viewable on all devices, it has you know all the main wording, our logo, all a few of the things, and then what it will see on different devices. The viewable on TV part doesn't really work. So, uh, but like what you wanna do is keep everything in this stripe that you want. You know, uh, typically this stripe is what we also see on our TV. We have that, and then we're just gonna upload a random picture here. Yeah, we'll do. We'll just do this one, I guess. Yep, there we go. So, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this block. This actually works as a subscribe block. Um, you could use a little logo, uh, or I would suggest you put just like a little subscribe thing, which you can come back over to Canva, create design, go to logo, just pre-made. And then you can just search uh, subscribe here in the templates. Uh, and there you go. There's uh, there's some stuff that they found in elements. Actually, we'll go to elements and type in the same thing. Uh, subscribe. All right. So so yeah, like you can uh, you can just do like a little click button right here, right? And we'll make it we'll make it big, as big as we can. So. Boom, boom, center it, boom. All right, share, download, transparent background, and we'll make it a thousand by a thousand just so it's easy. All right, downloading, untitled design, and then we'll come back over to the channel customization, upload, this is what I would suggest if you don't have a logo. If you do have a logo, you could do that, but this is actually a strategy that people don't know why you're really clicking on the watermark. This kind of gives a prompt to why they're clicking on the watermark. So uh, we'll come over here to Untitled Design. There it is. So we removed the background just so there's not like a weird white block behind it. It's just gonna look just like that. Download, now you have a little watermark and we're gonna put it out throughout the entire video so someone can click on it if they so choose. Now we're gonna go to basic fishing or basic info. We already did this part, the name of the channel and your handle. If you have pronouns, you can do that as well. Here at the Brave Angler, we don't care, so we just leave that blank. Call us what you want, we don't care. All right, in the description, give a little description about it and try and keep in mind what your niche is because like this is going to really make this is part of your seo which is your search engine optimization you want to have your keywords in here of what you want to be known for like bass fishing so on and so on um like i said uh if you're starting a youtube fishing channel for just fun you could put you know fishing challenges like here check out our fun fishing challenges as we explore whatever state you're from and uh doing bass fishing and so on and so on i'll show you mine which is a little more well thought out about the channel but like like i said right we're really just trying to hit those different keywords like i said you want to kind of like where it makes sense people know what they're getting into by subscribing to your channel and like you're hitting all the different types of searches that someone would be searching for that uh if you have any additional links like uh instagram TikTok or anything like that, which you should be creating at this very same time. I'm not gonna go through that. Most people know how to do that, but I will show you guys mine just to kind of just show you the progress we have made in the last nine months when we started this brand, when we started our YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna publish this now. All right, so after you publish this, the next thing you have to do is go into your settings. 
because there's still some things that we need to do to make sure that you are searchable. So we're gonna go down to settings down here. And then, then you got your channel, right? So like country of residence, do, this is very important that you guys do this. A lot of people skip this step and wonder why they're not going anywhere. So make sure you do this step. Um, I am located in the United States. And this is your keywords, all right? Do not go crazy with your keywords, okay? Here's what I would suggest. Your first keywords are gonna be the name of your channel, right? This makes your channel searchable. So when someone's looking for Stevie Brave Fishing, they're gonna find my channel, right? So the first one is gonna be Stevie Brave Fishing or whatever your channel is. And then the next one, after you do the comma, is just gonna be all one word. In case people are, you know, being lazy, I don't know. Or anything else, oh, I might put Stevie Brave as well. All right, so the next thing is, is professional bass fishing. That's what this channel is known, like, cause this is my future professional bass fisherman channel. How about that? Fishing. Bass fishing. Oop. Bassing. I don't, I don't know what that is. Bass fishing. And uh, we'll do two more uh, fishing challenge. And we'll do outdoors. All right. So the reason we're not getting too crazy with this, right? You should have a general idea of what your channel is about, what you want to do, whether it's going to be fishing challenges, whatever, what have you. If you want to do a fishing adventure kind of vlog, put put adventure vlog, you know, like whatever it is, that is, this is how YouTube is going to know when people are searching for stuff, whether or not to suggest your channel. Um, not so much your videos, but your channel. All right, so this is what my channel, this channel will be known for. And like I said, I'll show you what the Brave Anglers channel is um, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, like I said, you want the first two different renditions of your name so that when people look Stevie Brave Fishing up, this is the channel that pops up, not the Brave Angler, which also has Stevie Ray Brave on there as well. We want it specifically to pull up this channel. All right, so we're gonna push save. So we pretty much got our customization done we got our settings done. All right, so dashboard, we'll go back to the dashboard. Uh, now you're ready to start uploading. But like I said, we wanna double check that your channel is searchable, but that is how you set it up. After that, you're gonna have to create your content, upload it, and that is a whole nother video of what we're gonna do. But like I said, when we go over to my channel, I'll kind of explain why some of our videos did so well and why some of them did not So now we are on the Brave Angler, all right? So we're gonna come over to my channel. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, to so Angler. today we are doing. Let me pause this right garage quick. Sale fishing challenge. So one of our best videos was the garage sale fishing challenge. So as you can see, that is the video that we want up and come, or up front. So it's 5,618 views and it's been up for six months or so. This one kind of took off a little late. When we first uh, launched it, uh, it didn't go that well, but you know, it kind of took off some late. Uh, this video was updated nine uh, days ago. This was our adventure vlog. We are really proud of this video. However, it didn't do that well. And part of the thing is, is like I said, you're going to, I'm going to show you what content does best, what content does the worst, at least for our channel. Um, we found that the videos that do the best have the most controversy. So for example, if you look at this one right here, knowledge versus uh, the thumbnail as well, knowledge versus uh, live scope, right? David versus Goliath, uh, it was our first bass fishing uh, tournament and our boat has no technology on it and we were going against $120,000 boats. You know, uh, you know, we were David, they were Goliath and in this case, Goliath absolutely won. We got slaughtered, uh, we got sixth place, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but like there's a little bit of controversy, it was uploaded one month ago and has 1,100 views. Um, that one did okay. Uh, it wasn't the best title. It wasn't the best thumbnail, you know, that kind of stuff. And it wasn't that that controversial, but it still did fairly well. The next one uh, was up for two weeks, got 884. Um, this was actually the second video in the Road to the Pros, uh, where I kind of go over just what the plan is, and then we're getting more specific in this video, all right? 
But if you look at what our bangers are, some of our evergreen content, one was we did a like a beautification of our old swamp bass boat. Uh, well, we call our swamp bass, uh, where we used like a bed liner for the deck rather than doing traditional carpet, you know, to see if it a budget option would work. Um, that is an evergreen because other people are going to be looking to do the same to their boat, whether or not it's worth the money, what it looks like at the end, so on and so on. So it's a video that has constantly over the last two months, you know, constantly brings in views. Um, so like at, at two, after two months, it's brought in 1.2 thousand. It's a very slow but steady kind of content. Like I said, everything that has done well has been more controversial or, you know, just more opinion based, you know, kind of get in on the trends and stuff like that. So one of the big things right now is that uh, fishing is an elitist sport, which if you are just, go, you know, it is pay to play. And in that sense, yes, it's an elitist sport. However, I think there is a misunderstanding of where the money should come from. If you are just out of your own pockets, paying your injury fees, I commend you. That is awesome. I don't relate to that. I don't have the money for that. So um, if it's in that retrospect, yes, it's an elitist sport because if you have the cheddar, you can play, you have the opportunity. And if you don't have the cheddar right away, then you can't do it. So if you just think about that, then yes, I would agree with you. It's an elitist sport. However, I believe there is a way that you can create multiple revenue streams to replace the fact that you do not have that money offhand and you can simply earn your way there, which is what my channel is about. Uh, so this video was um, quite controversial. It's the thumbnail was I'm going pro and time. Uh, the title was time to take professional uh, time to get serious about professional bass fishing. Now, when people see that they're like, this nobody is going pro tomorrow. So they click on it. They want to see what this nobody has to say, AKA me. And this video has actually generated us 380 subscribers all on its own and has gotten us 8,006 views. And it says a month ago is when we posted it. It stopped getting us views about, I don't know, two weeks ago. Um, but all that was pretty much in the first week. And this video did awesome. All right. But as you can see, the like the way it's structured compared to all of our other content is it is centered around controversy. It is kind of clickbaity in a way. I don't want to say it was clickbait because I was actually announcing that I, my intentions of eventually going pro and how I was going to get there. And you know, it was time to start getting serious. Like it, it was completely about what it was it, but it wasn't in the context that most people would have thought just looking at the thumbnail and the title. So to that, I would say that, yes, they're probably true. But like I said, if you look at some of our other content that has done well, uh, a lot of it is evergreen content, um, just content of like how to's, um, like how to buy a used bass boat. That was one of our good videos. Uh, the garage sale fishing challenge has kind of surprised us. It's kind of a ab abnormal beast on its own. Uh, and then of course, a couple of our bait making videos have also kind of, uh, blown up, which, uh, kind of caught us by surprise. Now we're going to get into the settings of my channel. So channel trailer for us, like I said, is a video that has gotten us a lot of views and a lot of subscribers that we want to put our best stage forward, which was the $50 garage sale fishing challenge. All right. Uh, the next feature videos is videos that we felt were undervalued. Like they didn't get the attention that they should have in our eyes because of how much we edited them or something like that. And that is what we put in the forefront there. And then the feature sections, we have our videos, our long form content, our short term content, content, and then our series. We have uh, six different series, including uh, like adventure, our, our fishing trips, our TTTs, which is the tutorials, tricks and tips. And then we have our tournament bass fishing, the road to the pros and something else. Couldn't tell you. Um, probably should be able to tell you, but that is how I would set this up once you have some content, um, like a library content to use. All right. So then branding, of course, like I said, we have our background right there. We have the, uh, my photo right there with just, you know, a decent sized fish I caught. And then we have the brave angler logo down here, 
like I said, you know, we actually might change that. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll just keep pressing on, I guess. All right. So under basic info, like I said, you want, you want everything to kind of be on, right? Uh, so I have on the road to the pros, join me on my journey from a novice to a professional angler. It's very simple. You know, uh, it does have a little bit of keywords in there, but not too much. And it's because mainly it's just, we're still experimenting with a lot of this. And so far this is what's working best for us. Uh, and then we have our website, um, our Facebook, our Instagram and our TikTok all uh all linked here all right now we are going to go to settings and we're going to get into some of the keywords and stuff like that so as you can see united states the brave angler is the first one bass fishing tournament fishing fishing challenge outdoors and brave angler co which is our company all right so you really want to keep it kind of close niche to what you're doing. So I have bat so we do bass fishing, we do fishing challenges and then tournament fishing. That is primarily what our channel is about. So that's what we want to be ranked for. You do not want to have a hundred different things because you'll just confuse the algorithm. They'll have no clue what you're doing. But like I said, the very first keyword is the brave angler. So when you look up the brave angler, my face is the first one you see. All right. So, like I said, so we're gonna close that now. And that is how the Brave Angler is set up. Now, like I said, like with the content that we have put out and the structure that we have done, right? I wanna just kind of show you guys what we have been able to accomplish. We started this channel in June of 2023, right? Since then we have gotten 1955, well, 1,955 subscribers right so let's go over to analytics we'll go over here to advanced mode all right so as you can see from this is this year let's do uh we'll do the last year all right so as you can see february of last year nothing nothing and then june when we started this here it is and pretty much what our progress has been throughout this whole time as you can see it was you know, fairly good when we first started. This is views, I think, right? Uh, so this is views. We did some pretty good views uh, in June, July. Um, and then, you know, kind of steadily, like it was kind of a struggle, 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 struggle. And then we hit like craziness over here um, in December, J January of this year in February, right? So that is something to keep in mind, but, um, as you can see, like you're gonna put out a lot of content and very little of it is actually gonna get all these views. Like you're gonna have to figure out what works best for your channel. Um, now, if you look at like our, uh, we'll go with some of this information down here. Like, so over the course of the last nine months, um, we have gotten, well, we'll say year, you know, cause, but we started this, like I said, in June. Um, we have gotten 1,000, or uh, 122,577 views. We have gotten 2,431 watch hours. So we're right there at that first. We have the, the subscribers for our monetization, but we do not have the watch hours. Uh, the first one is 500 subscribers, 3,000 watch hours. So you guys can see we're almost there there. Uh, subscribers, it says 1954. Uh, it, sometimes it updates a little late. Uh, and then 500,000, 588,200 impressions. Um, so in nine months, we're not doing that bad. We're actually way ahead of where we thought we would be. We thought we would be at a thousand subscribers in the first year, you know, um, and we're at two, almost 2000. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're way ahead of the curve and it's because we're noticing these trends and all that kind of stuff and trying to really be analytical on what video, what style of videos are doing well and how we can apply the concepts to our other videos. Now, I know what you guys are probably seeing on this side right here. This is vidIQ. This is another service that we pay for that I would highly recommend. They are not a, uh, they are not a sponsor of this video or anything like that, um, but we do use them. Uh, they and they give you a lot of valuable uh, information. We're not going to go too far into that because, like I said, they are not a sponsor of this video. But we do use VidIQ to kind of you know 
get a little edge um, to make sure our videos are likely to perform well um, and you know just to see what other you know our competitions doing and stuff like that and you know like i said just you know making sure that we're following checklists they give ideas and stuff like that but i would highly uh recommend um if you are serious about growing your youtube channel and you want to kind of take the shortest cut i would say vid iq will take a lot of stress out of it it won't take all the stress out of it but it will take a good portion um but that is how you set up a youtube um the next thing is is going to be creating your content like this is really going to be dependent on what kind of content creator you want to be like i said our channel is all about being transparent what we do how we get there um and it's one of those things where i cannot tell you how what's going to work best for you um there is a little bit of individuality and the more that you are able to capitalize on your own strengths the better i would say your channel will do and really like it is a crowded space i don't think it's so overly crowded that um you shouldn't do it but it is definitely crowded and the only thing that's going to really separate you from everyone else is you and the best that you can do uh, the best thing that you can do to help yourself succeed is just be yourself have fun with it and do not put any pressure on it because like i said in my first video i definitely had a problem with putting pressure on it and it, it made it really rough to continue now i enjoy it so much more because i feel like i'm actually providing my audience with a benefit um and as well as i'm me i'm not trying to cover up who i am or what i'm doing it's completely transparent and that's ultimately what i feel you need to do in order to be good at this um, or to succeed at this and like i said unfortunately it is a necessity if you plan on going pro uh, or anything like that it is something that you're gonna have to figure out and as you know we'll, we'll keep making videos on this topic you know as we figure out new stuff to help you guys along but you know like i said we've been just trucking along and it's been doing really well for us so um if you guys have any questions make sure you leave it down in the comments like i said it's such a vital part of just what our business plan is and i have one last tip to give you guys um before you go and that is how to write off all your fishing equipment and tackle at the end of the year with creating your brand now like I said before that one of the leaks is to BraveAnglerCo.com. Brave Angler Co. is actually our business, which is the parent company of the Brave Angler. What that means is this is a business, guys. This is not just me having fun making videos. The ultimate goal of this channel is to eventually create revenue streams to help fund a business. So go online, create an LLC right and all the money and earnings are going to go to that however everything you spend on your channel can be written off at the end of the year when you file your taxes and so that means that your fishing rods your fishing reels your tackle boats truck usage you name it as long as it has to do with fishing you can write it off just keep all your receipts that's what we do so that we can write off the boats that we bought, the rods and reels, our cameras, all of that is because this is all part of a business. And so far our business has, yes, taken a loss this year because we have not yet made money on YouTube. Um, and you know, like we do some other stuff like merchandise and stuff like that, but we have not made enough to cover the cost of what we have spent on this. However, we were gonna spend that money anyways. You know, even if we didn't turn it into a business, because this can potentially make you a decent amount of money, which we will get into in a later video once we reach that point. But make an LLC, keep all your receipts, and you can write it off all at the end of the year as expenses to a business. And that is the second big tip I can give you guys, because that will give you some money, extra money back at the end of the year to help make it easier to purchase more equipment that you need or to maybe even get, uh, even pay for some of your entry fees in your tournament fishing or new camera, what have you. All right, so like I said, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And 
We'll see you in the next one. Now go catch a fish.